All right, guys, so uh, I show up to the new facility today, and it's a little different here. It's a little different out in Vermilion. Not as gritty. It is not as gritty. <laughs> it's not as gritty, but it's a lot more pretty. There you go. Seriously, man, like, uh, this is unbelievable. Um, just, you know, coming down the road, um, actually went up uh, Jennings Freeway and, and actually went by the old factory. And how far out are you guys from the old factory? 35 minutes. 35. So now you're, you have no commute anymore now. Just for wrestling practice. That's it. So now you'll go into uh, St. Edward for your guys' club practice. And as far as working here seven days a week, how far is this from home? It's a two and a half mile bike ride. Oh, is it, are you biking? Uh, it sometimes just depends. So what, you know, when you, when you get the land here and, and you're like, we're going to do this. How long has this been in the making to, to make this the headquarters out in Vermilion? Since uh, 2018, believe it or not. So it, when you saw that you could finally do it, I remember you were going to break ground and, and start getting into it. Um, when it became reality and you broke ground, you cleared the, you had to clear a lot, didn't you? Yeah, Van, Van Kieran. Remember Matt Van Kieran? I live out by him. No, his dad. He, he lives out in Sugar Falls. He's a friend of mine. He wrestled for me when he was a kid. His dad cleared the land. So when you guys had the lot cleared, then you got to start getting all these permits and all this other stuff. You got to do a parking lot. How long did that take? A while. You had to have an engineer come in. You can see how it runs downhill here. There's like uh, nine catch basins here for all the um, water with a pretty big retention pond in the back. So you got all that stuff. You got to do all these things. You got to meet code, right? Well, the builder has to do all that. I yeah, just, they got to do I, all I that. I signed the paperwork. You signed the paperwork. Um, did it move pretty quickly and did you feel like it was pretty successful and something that, you know, hey, like this is this is the deal, this is what I want and it's coming to fruition and it's gonna happen sooner than later. Yeah, some some things move quickly and some things seem to drag, but I mean, I don't know any projects that don't have snags sooner or later, so it was pretty good, it was worth the wait. What was the original and uh, finish date and move in date compared to what we, you- We were supposed to be in before last wrestling season, so like October of 2019 and we got in March of 2020. So they got bumped back quite a bit, five months, but. When you look at how the COVID-19, did that affect you guys at all with the, with the with quarantines and shut down the business? Well, it was crazy because we, we got the word from the governor that we were shut down that day, like everybody else. I made a call to the mayor within 10 minutes. Within 10 minutes, he had a response back from the Erie County um, health director or inspector. And then they requested we actually stay open because we were essential with the soap and the disinfectants that we had. So within 20 minutes of the governor talking, we had our permission to stay open. And we worked straight through that. We sold all of our summer inventory within a month. So we had to restock. Um, and then we had to make changes like canisters or wipes. Those would probably be a thing of the past. We're going to a, a flat pack. All the disinfectant companies are taking the canisters. So lead times on that are, you know, 2021 is like when they're telling me that they're going to get me canisters. So we're looking at, it, it forced us to um, up our game a little bit and get different type material and stuff in there. When you look at like the, the whole, the project, how this like perfect storm, COVID-19, and you're moving into a building and then you're, you're releasing new products. You're always doing research and development on things, trying to make sure that it's, it's, healthy it's within the product guidelines of what you do and your mission statement what is that what was that experience like now you're, you're opening you got new product lines coming too right guy yeah we have a lot well first of all my employees are ready to murder me because of the first week of covid we're moving you know move it took it only took four semi loads to get the stuff over here but still you got to pack four semi loads and unpack four semi loads we didn't miss one single order um March was my largest month ever. Usually it's starting to slow down in March. It's our largest month ever in 15 years on top of moving into a new building. So it was, it was kind of interesting. You guys get out here and you're working 70, 80 hours a week, right? They, they worked 80 hours a week for three weeks straight. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, they had, so, you know, like other people are the opposite. The rest of society in America is the opposite. They're stuck at home. Yeah, These we, guys are here. We felt for those people too. We obviously we want to work, you know, we don't want to be home. So yeah, we felt for those people. So, you know, you guys are here, you're moving in, you're, you're doing all this stuff simultaneously. You're trying to ship product out. You're trying to restock new products. So the sending and the receiving is crazy. What was that whole thing like for, for that like six weeks where it was really 
really high tense. It was really tense, you it, know, in America. It was good. I'm proud of my crew. We didn't miss one single order. We got every single order out the day it was placed, no matter what. And we were pumping out four or 500 orders a day. And and that crew back there didn't miss a single one. What did you guys, what's, what was the biggest thing? that when there was Believe demand? it or not, um, face and hand soap took off like crazy because people must have been looking. Like our foaming soaps, those went, those went crazy. We, uh, we brought in a, a hand sanitizer. People asked us for hand sanitizer. We, we had one of those made. Our disinfecting tablets, you know, those things were just kind of sitting idle till COVID and we're sold out of those. Um, it, it's just crazy how different things went. Our soap still went, but different parts of it jumped. The, the foaming hand and face wash. All of our wipes were gone within a, three weeks. When will we, we see enough, wipes? We had enough wipes to last us to the start of wrestling season. And they were gone. <laughs> when will we see wipes again in the flat package like you're talking about? Uh, we're talking end of July, beginning of August. We've upped the game though. It's 48 wipes now instead of 40. It, they're biodegradable now. So we, um, you know, we improved. We said, hey, we're gonna be out. We might as well take the time now just to make them better. So it's a, it's a better quality cloth. They're, like I said, biodegradable, a little heavier duty. And you get 48 instead of 40 now, same price. Going into hand sanitizer, what was hand sanitizer like as opposed to, you know, you're, you've been a, a, a soap and water guy. That's the whole basis of the business. Now you jump into hand sanitizer, what was that like? Um, well, we weren't super happy about it at first. We didn't want to go that way. Um, we believe in, in soap, but there was such a need for it. Um, people called every single day asking for it. So we just we just bit the bullet and made, made a batch of it for them. Um, and if it brings people comfort and, and they feel better about using the hand sanitizer, we can supply it for them. It's kind of like a limited quantity thing. I don't think we're gonna keep it around. Um, but, you know, we have it and we, and we got it just because our customers are asking for it. Um, what would you say, you know, I think is it, is it acne face wash, is that, the, is that the new product you guys would be rolling out soon? Yeah, we actually just put it on our website Friday. We, we didn't do a launch on it. We just put it up because we had it just to see what happened. We sold quite a bit of it over the weekend. We'll be doing a soft launch, you know, via emails and um, social media. And then we're going to do a, a little more solid launch when we uh, get the commercial done for it. You'll see it on TV or wherever. Biggest thing you think you've taken from the whole COVID-19, uh, you know, business being shut down, you guys were an essential business, whether it was from what you learned, your wife, your crew, your kids, what was the biggest thing you took from the whole COVID-19 thing? Well, one thing for sure is that we did a good job of hiring and having the right people in place. This, like I said, this crew did not miss one step on any of it. It was, it was fantastic. I learned that my supply chains were not as strong as I thought they were, even though I dealt with companies for 15 years, you know, they faltered. So we learned that we eliminated a lot of middlemen and we go directly through manufacturers. Like when you buy bottles, for example, like I, I would buy a bottle, I buy 10,000 at a time, I would have to go through a distributor. Now we just order 60,000 bottles at a time and go straight through a manufacturer. We're big enough, we can do that and we can store it here. So that's, that's what we do. Um, th the main thing I learned though is we're too dependent upon other people. Um, we're, we're eliminating people so we're not dependent upon people. We're building um, and, and adjusting so that we don't get caught um, like a lot of companies got caught and we're not going to get caught. It's here. If, if, you, if you need it, you're getting it here. It's here. Yeah. And we, we just recently started to go out of stock on things. Um, part of it cause I'm a hoarder and I, I like to have a lot of inventory, but, um, you know, we were, we were pretty much on top of things. We, our wipes went out. We made individually packaged wipes. I could get them done in eight weeks. So we made individually packaged wipes until, until we get wipes back in here not the perfect solution, but it's, you know, it's adapting on the fly, you know, we're good at that. Yeah, you guys definitely like have found a way. I, I, I can't wait for the hand sanitizer. I'm gonna hopefully get some of that. No, yeah, it's good. Um, we don't make it here, obviously, that there's a lot to that, but you know, it was funny, it was a cosmetic company, high-end cosmetic company out of um, California that made it for us. In order to stay open during COVID, they need to make essential products. So they made hand sanit they made our hand sanitizers, kept their business open, and it um, allowed us to fulfill our customers' needs.
I love it. That, that's like, you know, they're thinking on the fly too. They're surviving. Yeah, got to survive. Exactly. Okay. Uh, are you going to give me a, a, a do I get the, the, the guy Seiko tour? Are you going to give me a quick yeah, tour? Yeah, if you want. I'll All right. I want the guy Seiko tour. I, I got a little one you saw on Twitter already, you know, just kind of a walk through of this amazing facility, but let's go get a facility tour, right? Okay.